Hello and welcome back to another video and another Spectrum pickup video. This one is not a pickup, it's an eBay purchase. Now, this purchase came off the back of the first Spectrum I bought off a friend in work for £80. And when I bought it, another friend mentioned that he seen one on eBay for £80. It was in Liverpool. Uh, at the time it was bids, I threw a cheeky bid on it, it was only £80 a bid. To be honest with you, I didn't expect to get it for £80. So um, anyway, I won it for £80. It's the Dixon's pack, it's not complete, and it was listed as it powers on, but the person couldn't get a pitch on screen. So it led me to believe that possibly there was no sort of RGB to scan at lead to test, no CRT to test. Uh, obviously sometimes a bit awkward getting a RF signal on an LCD TV. So anyway, yeah, I, I did ask the guy to pick her up as well because I was quite local to Liverpool and uh, the guy was a bit funny with me saying, no, I don't have one now around my house or something like that. And I just said, well, you know, we can sort of like, um, I can help you with fees and stuff like that. Wasn't interested. Anyway, long story short, it's here today. Now, this is going to be sold on to Eric and mate who first suggested this. Um, now, the only reason why I sort of do an unboxing today is because it's one of the packs I had back in the day. As I say, the pack's not complete. It's a Dixon's boxed one. And it was my second Spectrum, I think. I'm sure my first one was the Action Pack. And my second one was a Dixon's one. So I just wanted the sort of, you know, to the nostalgia of opening this Dixon's pack again. And as I say, it's going to be uh, tested today. And it's going to be sort of sold to a mate just to get my money back. £80 and that's it. Uh, so without further ado, let's get on with this little unboxing. Right, so I'll just show you how it was packaged. There we go. Obviously, I've taken off the addresses because I don't want four tons of tarmac on my doorstep. So, yeah, it's. I don't think. It just feels like it's got cardboard and a bit of finger around it. So, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'll just rip it all off off camera. It's like putting a condom on. Oh. taking one off whatever floats your boat the only difference with this condom it's going to be full of goodness to be honest with you I should have really come better prepared than this have you got any skizzers in here just give me one minute one minute. If you just want to watch me other channels video while while I'm doing that. Subscribe to G2E Media by all means. Yeah, I'll use them. Actually, there's the guy responsible for me buying this bloody spectrum. Medical scissors. So I mentioned to a mate anyway that, you know, don't worry, I have every faith in this Spectrum working. As I say, maybe the, uh, whoever sold me it, whoops, just didn't have the means to test it further, so. But for £80, you know, right, I see. Oh yes, I see a Spectrum. Out that box. Oh yes, there she is. Oh. And there she is in all her glory. Box is a little bit sort of battered here and there, but you know, let's get around here. Whoopsies. That side, we got that side. I think there was a little tear in one of the. Or am I thinking of something else I bought? Probably thinking of something else I bought. To be honest with you, that was the sort of the main, the main issues with it. So yeah, the games bundled are supposed to be those, but obviously we we haven't got them. There's no games involved. It's just. 
purely the computer. Uh, I think it's an RF lead and uh, a joystick. So, top of the box. First things first is the SJS1 Sinclair boxed joystick. Very nice condition. Quickly have a little look at it. Here we go. over there. This one I think is the RF lead. It's a bit of a big box to put an RF lead in. Was that the original box? I don't know. Answers uh, in the comments please. Right so the inner box Nearly fell out. Nearly fell out. Right, let's close it and do the full angled in a box. And it's upside down. That side. So that looks in pretty nice condition, in my opinion. No discolouring. Looks virtually, virtually brand new. Yeah, it's upside down, but hey ho, who cares? Right, so without further ado, let's get this. Uh, how are we going to do this? Slide off the polys. Do you know what? It's like mid October and it is freaking roasted. We'll keep it in the camera. Righty ho. Okay, so here's the computer. So say in the description, it did say that the tape deck did work. However, obviously no picture. Smells a little bit musty. Obviously this isn't natural light, so it's probably not giving you the true reflection. But the lights I've got are supposed to be daylight lights. Oh, something's, something's rattling in there. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. What is that? Oh, that's quite worrying. That is quite worrying. I don't know what the hell that could be. Wow, I'll, I'll investigate that in a minute. The book. A little bit musty. I'm getting no evidence of any sort of water damage. Uh, the power supply. Looks in very nice condition. So yeah, really, that's it. I mean, you know, I didn't expect anything else other than the computer, and that was it. I say, solely just bought it. Didn't think I'd win it. And I say, a friend actually does want it now, so uh, I'm just going to get my money back on it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and, pro I'll tell you what I'll do, I've got to, I'll just get my torch out while I'm here. So while we're on camera, I'll just get my torch on. And just see if I can see anything rattling around inside. off something has come off there I think I might have to do an opener of this as well so what I'm gonna do I am gonna plug this in and I'm gonna see if I can get a picture if I get a picture happy days um, and then I'm gonna have to open it and investigate this because I'm, uh, I'm not too happy about that rattling I know it says no returns on this thing but uh, from my experience on eBay, uh, you can return things regardless if it says no return. So uh, that sort of was not mentioned, the rattling sound. I mean, it's pretty obvious that 
something like significant has maybe come off there so anyway so what i'm going to do i'm going to set this up and i'm going to plug it in i'm going to see if we get a picture right so i'm not going to bother doing um an angle change i'm just going to keep it as it is so we're plugged in the rgb2 scart is in the back of the telly now i'm going to turn the zx spectrum on and see if we get a picture so i've got a light that works forward backward play pause and i'm assuming record will work now where did i put that bloody remote it's okay no signal right we've got something okay so we have a picture now what's happening is the last video that i posted up where i got a zx spectrum from a friend for nothing we had the same issue now i'm told that these rgb to scart leads some LCD TVs don't take very kindly to them, so I'm assuming it's just a case of the LCD and not the computer. Surely I can't have two spectrums in the same week with the same problem. Surely not. I've got a CRT, actually, I might try it with the CRT before I end this video. But what I'm going to do before I end the video is I'm going to try it with a game. So I'm just going to grab any game to be honest with you. I don't know what that one is. It's a crappy one I don't want anyway. Again we get that hissing sound but that's to do with the... It's not, it's not the correct RGB lead if I'm honest with you. Does the reset work? Reset works. Right, tape loader, play. Slow that down because it's annoying. Cat playing with the bubble wrap. Oi, what are you doing? What are you doing? So I'm assuming now I won't get no sound because uh, the older ones have to have the headphone jack thing but there you go it works so ping pong it is so I'm going to stop that there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it on the CRT in the hope that this sort of doesn't glitch out like it's doing here in my eyes that's a working ZX Spectrum right okay I'll just I'll stop that and what I'll do is we'll switch over to the CRT Right, okay, so we're plugged in. Um, let's see, we're on channel one, so I need to flick it to SCART. Okay, as I say, that issue of the thing here was not a problem. So it looks like we have a very beautiful picture, albeit a little bit. Let me just knock the shutter speed down a minute because I want to try and show you actually. Um, is that going up or down? Let's go right down. No. Yeah, right, okay, I'll just expose that. And I'll knock down the F stop. I think you might just be able to see that. Yep. Something is in the in the way there, I think. Is it? Let's knock it down a bit further. F F eleven. Yeah, so anyway, we have got a beautiful picture on the screen and no glitches at all. So, for the £80 I paid, obviously, I'm getting my money back on that, so... Yeah, I think we might just need to get an headphone jack. In fact, I'll try it while I'm here, because I'm not sure if... Let me see if um, I can just get this speaker working. This is a pain in the bloody bum bum. And the speakers in. So really what I'm doing is I'm just putting the 
sound coming directly from the back of the spectrum. Yeah, so um, here we go. Hopefully now we should get sound. Oh, might be wrong here. Might be wrong. Right, I need to. Sometimes just things just don't go to plan. All we need to do is to power these speakers with fucking laptop. Here we go. There we go. So we have sound. Yeah. Right, okay, when this cat moves, I'm gonna try and open this spectrum and see what the uh, what the noise is inside. Right, let's see what we've got inside this machine that's been rattling. Just that. Oh well, no worries. So it was just that. Well, it was a little, uh, little square block. Mm, well, anyway, yeah, let's just have a quick look at the old seat belt. Yeah, that's a bit slack. That I'll need changing. Right, so for today, that's all I'm going. That's, that's, well, that's as far as I'm going on that one. So, generally, it looks. What's that? Is that a heatsink on there, is it? I don't know. Answers on a postcard. Is that a heatsink? What was I saying before about, you know, cats messing around? If you're going to play in Spectrum Boxes, expect the consequences, love. I'll get you out now. Just wait there. Right, okay, so that was a look at my fourth Spectrum I've got in a week. So I've got one off a mate for £80. Pound. I've got one for not off another mate. I've got a carcass off another mate in work. And I've got this one. So although this is not getting kept, it's uh, it's four. I mean, you know, as I say, I put the feelers out there a couple of weeks ago. I was interested in getting a Spectrum again. And I've amassed four. So as I say, this is going off to Eric. Um, all working, he just needs to buy an RGB to Scarlet Lead because he's not having mine. And he's got himself a nice little bargain for £80. So I'd quite happily have that on display. Um, I might try and talk him into swapping me the box out. So yeah, um, in terms of more Spectrum videos, I've got the last one that I got for nothing off a friend. 
that's going to be the next sort of spectrum project video i'm going to get all them keys back on the rail where it should be um, and hopefully you know get it all back up to scratch the one i bought previously off a friend for 80 pound stop messing with the bloody you put something down and cats think it's like an animal wait stop it so let me see where was i then where was i then um think george think quickly 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 they're getting bored they're getting bored you're gonna lose subscribers uh, yeah so the one i bought originally for 80 pound is just gonna be a clean up and stuff like that the old work and then this next the next spectrum project is going to be the one i got uh, the carcass and the one with missing keys and then hopefully maybe next week i should have my amiga slash how, how can we call it let me see I, i'm trying to come up with this name me, me mate said call it a frankenstein it's a possibly the world's first dual c64 slash a500 mini i'm going to go out there and say console um a computer or uh, whatever else you want to call it so yeah it's a uh, i'm not going to call it hybrid because hybrid means like like you know petrol electric diesel electric this is all electric, so it's not a hybrid, so I'm talking absolute crap there. Um, yeah, it's 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 hopefully the world's first dual, as I say, um, C64 Mini and A500 Mini in an original A500 case, Amiga 500 case, and also with an Amiga or A500 working keyboard. So it's still not quite finished but I'm sort of near the end of this project now I've had a few problems I've had to buy other things which I've wrecked and stuff like that so yeah hopefully that will be all up and running and I can make a video on that next week so in terms of um, me going on and waffling a load of crap I'll say thanks for watching as always and I'll catch you in the next video nice shooting son what's your name Siri